from my experience, there is, and because I've done lots of workshops with people, and you essentially get a bunch of people in a room, let's say 20 to 30 people, and they will have a varied range of expertise in the subject matter. Some might have done a workshop before, even have basic skills on what you're trying to teach, and others have never heard of what you're bringing to the table. So when you have to manage a room like that, one of the main primary things to do is to set up a safe scenario, which is often why we take people out of their office into a room. Because if you're in a room where the rules, the normal rules don't apply, which means and by the normal rules, I mean that you get uh, that social dynamic where people cannot speak up and you show very early on that you can speak out. It doesn't matter. There's no wrong here. So then, then that that makes things easier. It creates a different kind of dynamic, a different kind of culture, at least temporarily. On top of that, oftentimes I have to actively work on, especially if I look at introverted people who don't have a tendency to speak up, to understand who is like that, and then pick them out and go, "I haven't heard anything from you for 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 half an hour. What are your thoughts?" It's it's a it's a piece of work to do that, and I can easily imagine if a team doesn't consciously do that, then. They will go with whoever speaks out loudest, whoever is most confident, and the rest of the team will never be heard, and you'll not get the kind of de-risking benefit of a diverse team that you would normally get. It, it is part of my work in a workshop, not just to teach the things, but actually create the right dynamic in a room in order to get the best out of those sessions, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 a great point, and. Uh... And I bet you can do it in those sessions. I, I bet that over time you can get people to feel safe about speaking up, it, which is a huge step forward. Uh, it's one of those things that, you know, in an organization, it, it if the CEO starts doing it, it will cascade uh, down through the organization. But... Uh, it, actually, it's a great point also that it, a lot of it is in the delivery. It is an art. Uh, giving feedback is an art. And um, exactly how it is said turns out to make a big difference. Of course, the, the, the point that we don't want to stray from is great performers demand the feedback. They value it. They go out of their way to seek it. And that is one of the big differentiators between them and the rest of the normal people in the world. And, and I don't think that we make enough of a point of the fact that this deliberate practice has to happen, that it isn't fun, that feedback is critical. But on the other end of this, there are great rewards. Right. There's great achievement possible. A very important point, and it, it goes back early in life. I mean, one of the it – just it's funny because just what you said uh, is almost exactly the answer that I got when I was talking with one of the researchers in this field. In fact, the preeminent researcher in this field, Anders Ericsson, who uh, uh, teaches at uh, Florida State nowadays. But um, I was talking with him long ago. Uh, and said, uh, what's the research frontier when it comes to great performance? What is it that n now needs to be understood better? And he said he thought the research frontier was parenting because for people to get really good in an awful lot of fields, they have to start as children. And he, uh, regardless of whether they can start as children or not, he said, it's vital for parents to make their kids understand that the road to great performance is uh, understood. We, we know how to do it. We, how you get from now to being one of the world's best is understood. We know how this is done. And it's available to you. You can go down that road. But it is a long, hard road. And... You can go down it as far as you want, and the rewards are fantastic. Uh, at the same time, you need to understand that it isn't fast and easy. And we actually live in a culture where 
most things that aren't fast and easy are presented as being fast and easy because uh, it makes for better TV. But uh, hmm. uh, as long as, but giving that uh, message to kids, uh, he thought is critical and not well understood. 